All right, let's do a couple of uh, real-world exponential growth um, problems. So exponential growth occurs when um, the value of the function, um, so the higher the value of the function, the, the higher the growth rate of the function, the more quickly it grows. Um, so in, in the basic structure of the relationship is like this. Um, there's different ways of writing this equation. To me, this is the clearest. Um, so x of t, you know, the value of the function at time t is equal to x of 0, meaning the, the value of the function at the beginning, um, times 1 plus the growth rate raised to the power of t, the, the, the number of um, growth cycles that have occurred. So let's let's um let's look at a couple examples here to make that concrete. Um, so bacteria reproduce asexually via a process called binary fission. Um, so you've got a, a bacterium there. Um, you know it'll cut itself in half and uh, you know become two, just like that. It's pretty awesome. Um, so each one you know can double itself basically, right? So each one splits in two. E. coli, uh, this type of bacteria, can reproduce as quickly as once every 20 minutes. So um, I'm going to call it the growth, the growth cycle. Cycle is um, 20 minutes. Okay. Because uh, this T will represent the number of growth cycles that have occurred. Okay, suppose there are two E. coli bacteria in an environment perfect for growth. You know, just to simplify this, there's no predators. Uh, you know, there's no there's no viruses. Uh, there's no space or food limitations. You know, the petri dish is is uh, you know infinitely wide and it's got you know I infinite amount of food, so it can just grow forever. There's no constraints. How many E. coli bacteria will there be after three hours? So let's, let's look at the different pieces here. So um, the number of of um, bacteria after three hours. Okay, so let's convert this into the number of cycles, growth cycles. So if it can, uh, we're assuming it's gonna, they're gonna reproduce every 20 minutes. So how many cycles will have occurred after three hours? So one hour is 60 minutes. So if a, if a growth cycle is 20 minutes, um, three cycles will occur every hour. So in other words, after three hours, there'll be nine growth cycles. You know, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, that's an hour. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, that's an hour. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, that's another hour, three hours. So the, the amount of bacteria after nine hours will equal um, so x of zero, the, the the beginning number. So there's suppose there are two E. coli, so just there'll be two bacteria um, at time zero at the beginning, um, times one plus the rate of growth. So what's the rate of growth? Well, each one splits in two. So the the number grows by 100% um, each time. So my growth rate will be 100%, which if I were to turn that into um, a number that I can use in an equation, I would call that 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Meaning, it, in other words, it, they, the population doubles every growth cycle. All right? So raised to the power of the number of growth cycles. So to the ninth. So let's just 2 times 2 to the ninth. Um, so 2 to the ninth will be, what is that? Um, 2, where's my, uh, uh, to the ninth is 512. So 2 times 512. So that will be, um, 2 times 512 would be 1,000. So after three hours, you just start with two E. coli bacteria. They've reproduced themselves, and now there's um, 1,024 of them. Now, after another 20 minutes, there's going to be 2,048 of them. Um, 
and then after another 20 minutes, whatever, you know, 4,096, right? So they, they double every growth cycle, and the growth cycle is 20 minutes. They reproduce every 20 minutes. All right, let's look at another one. Uh, by the way, this is this is true. The growth rate of E. coli, in, in best conditions, they can reproduce every 20 minutes, so... Um, that's why if you get a little bit infected with E. coli, you know, it can, it can get bad quickly, right? The, the bacteria reproduce very quickly in your body. So, hence the importance of medical treatment. Anyway, that's a little side note. Um, I hope, you know, you never encounter E. coli. Um, all right, the growth rate of the global human population is currently about 1.1% per year. Okay, true story. If the current population is 7 billion, and this rate of growth is maintained, um, you know, so we're going to assume that the growth rate will be 1.1% for the indefinite future. Like, there's no, you know, world wars, no global famines, uh, nothing that would drastically affect this growth rate. What will the world population be in 2020? All right, so let's, let's break this down. So, um, our, our population at, um, okay, so the, the growth rate is 1.1% per year. So our growth cycle will be one year. So um, so the current year is 2012. So um, as, as of the making of this lesson. So how many growth cycles will there be between now and 20, 2020? Um, there will be uh, eight growth cycles, eight years, right? Okay, so the the population after eight growth cycles, um, and because the growth cycles is one year, um, will be so x of zero the 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 beginning population when time is zero. So we're starting with seven billion, and I'm just going to do this instead of writing out seven billion. Uh, I'm just going to do this in terms of so our unit will be one billion people. So the seven will will stand for seven billion. Um, so seven times one plus uh, the growth rate is is um, one point one percent. So to turn that into a decimal, we just um, move the decimal over. So that's point zero one one. Um, so point zero one one would be the growth rate raised to the power of the number of growth cycles. So eight eight years. So um, since so it's one, so one plus point oh one one is one point oh one one. So let's raise that to the power of eight. Follow the order of operations here. Raise that to the power of eight and multiply by seven. We should have our answer at one point one one uh, raised to the power of eight um, times seven. So uh, about seven point six four. Um, billion people, billion people by um, 2020.